Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide, where today we're here at SeaWorld Australia, our final park to do here on the Gold Coast. So this park opened over 50 years ago in 1971 and is home to four roller coasters. That includes Leviathan, a new wooden roller coaster that only opened a couple of months ago in December 2022. So we're looking forward to that. It's part of a new themed area here called Atlantis. However, for us, it's our first time here. So the whole park's going to be new. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Yeah, they've got a water coaster here as well, a launch coaster where you sit on a jet ski Honestly, I and can't so wait much more. For that. We're looking forward to it. The good thing is as well the park are allowing us to take you on a couple of the rides here. We're going to be riding Leviathan, the new wooden roller coaster and sharing our on-ride footage and also Trident which is a new Starflyer attraction as well where we should get an awesome view looking over the park. So we just want to say thanks Thank to the park so uh, for arranging that and of course providing us with entry as well. Should we go and get inside? Let's go! Welcome to SeaWorld Australia. So we're now inside the park and look at this, all the waterfront just here and what a great skyline as well, of course dominated by Leviathan just over there, the park's new wooden roller coaster. You can also see Trident there in the middle, which is that new Starflyer attraction. And just behind it there as well, you can see the Mack Rise water coaster. What a location for this park. I have to say, this looks absolutely stunning to be honest. Yeah, beautiful. I really like the look of this. Yeah, along with that as well, they have like a jet ski show on here. So we'll be sure to try and catch that later on this afternoon. Lots to pack in. Um, but you know what, we've got quite a lot of time. Park hours are 9.30 through until five o'clock. We have some lovely landscaping around here as well and it seems like the rides are kind of off to the right and the animal experiences are on the left hand side. So let's look back at the entrance building and yeah look at this what an epic view over towards Leviathan just over there. Oh and there it is testing this morning going around the track. You're looking forward to oh, it. Oh I tell you what it looks the part and yeah this is the new Atlantis themed area. Oh listen to the sound of that it's gonna be ripping around the track. Really excited to get on there and of course we're going to be able to take you on and what's unique about this is that it's also got a backward seat on I there hey, yeah, <laughs> looking forward to giving that a go yeah this is the atlantis themed area honestly so excited for this really am yeah it's a lovely park all the landscaping and yeah owned by village roadshow so yeah it's not affiliated with the american brand of SeaWorld. um it's their own company here uh, village roadshow and like i said they own other attractions around here as well including warner brothers movie world so check out the vlog if you haven't already seen it but yeah you got vortex just here as well that opened slightly before the two new rides but yeah these have literally been open for a couple of months so really excited to go and head on to there it, it looks the part yeah oh, look at the dolphins here we go all the dolphins down there Lovely big area here as well, isn't it? Gorgeous. Oh, look at the entrance to Leviathan just over there. So excited to get on there. And of course, give it a ride. And yeah, we'll make our way around there first. Here we go then. So here's a look at the new Atlantis themed area. And I've got to say, it is really impressive. Look at this. I mean, the entrance to Leviathan there looks pretty stunning. Oh, they have done a fantastic job at this. It just looks fantastic. Yeah, the whole area here looks, looks really nice. Really nicely. Yeah, all the landscaping, the waterfalls over there at the entrance. Yeah. And of course, the wooden roller coaster. Yeah, less than two months old. Really looking forward to getting on Leviathan. And yeah, it's got a backward seat that we're going to be trying. And we're going to be able to take you on with a front facing POV and the backward seat as well on this. I tell you what, it looks incredible. It really does. Really excited to give this a go. Manufactured by Martin and Flemings. And yeah, the trains are built by the Gravity Group. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing exactly how this rides, especially with the heat over here. I think it's going to yeah, be I fast. Know. I think it will be. <laughs> it's going to be nice and warmed up. Yeah, come and join us as we ride on Leviathan. And the queue looks great for this as well. Here we go. Look at the waterfalls at the entrance. Here we go then, we're about to have our first ride on Leviathan and look at this queue line in here. Oh, the first thing that hits you is the nice air conditioning. And look at the theming in here, that we're in the caves. And because it's so cold in here as well, that just really adds to the atmosphere. Look at the steps just here, Charlotte. So good. All the steps underneath with the lights, all the writing on the walls here and the audio as well. You can just kind of hear water dripping when there's been in these caves. Really atmospheric, which is awesome. And here we go, up into the station. Look at this. Wow. 
What a station. And here's a look at the train. We're about to have our first ever ride on Leviathan on the front row. Are you ready, Charlotte? I can't wait. You're looking forward to this. Oh, look at the train. Let's go. ride on Leviathan, the new wooden coaster here at SeaWorld. And I tell you what, that ride is packed with so much airtime. I really enjoyed it to be honest. It, because it was so hot, it's running so well and it's such a long layout. Normally these wooden coasters take a long time to warm up. Not this one, Not like, because this. of the heat out here and it's probably the hottest day of the trip today as well. That was flying around the I track. I really enjoyed it. The first drop was fantastic and really got whipped over some of the hills as well. There was so much airtime throughout there. Um, my bum was just leaving the seat all the way around, which was fantastic. Along with that, the location of this ride really makes it. Um, right by the water, and of course, we're on a bit of a peninsula in a way here, where the park's built. So the views were amazing. Yeah, there's some really good views. Yeah, going up the lift hill, looking out over towards all the big buildings in the Gold Coast and all the water, that really made it for me. And of course, it's an overall package ride. This is so much more than just a wooden coaster. It's probably the best themed Woody I've ever seen, right, actually. The package is fantastic. The station area is just lovely with all the screens, sort of telling the story before you take off. Yeah, there's audio on the lift hill as well, which is great. And also when you come into the brake run, so you can tell the complete package. The train design is really nice on the front. I'm not a huge fan of the timber liners from the Gravity Group. However, um, with this one, it was riding yeah, quite well. Really good, yeah. yeah, it wasn't too shaky, which was good. Obviously, it's a wooden coaster, you know, so it's never going to be a really smooth experience. And you don't want it to be, else you wouldn't build a wooden exactly, coaster, you know. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was just the right level of intensity, uh, but some really good transitions, some really nice airtime on there. It's a fantastic wooden coaster. I'd say that exceeded my expectations yeah, I really as well. Enjoyed it. Right, we're going to try the back seat now. I'm not too sure how. <laughs> No, I went to Park Asterix in France last year and tried the back seat on Tonnerre de Zeus and uh, yeah, I wasn't a huge fan of it, so we'll see how this Let's is. Let's see how it is. We're going to go and give it a go and we'll take you on now with a nice POV.
my god, we've just had a backwards ride there on Leviathan and that was ridiculous. I, it was crazy that was. I'm not too sure how I feel about that. <laughs> it was just so uncomfortable. Yeah, that's the word. It's not rough. And it's, it's not rough. It's just uncomfortable because you don't know what's coming. It's not particularly intense either. I mean, I no, love the intense not. rides, but yeah, for me, it was uncomfortable that was. Yeah. I enjoyed this coaster much better facing forwards. And yeah, it was the same really uh, with Ton Air de Zeus over at Park Asterix. I said the same there. Um, I tell you what, I think riding this forwards is a brilliant coaster. We yeah, have backwards. Um, I think for me, wooden coasters, I've only done the two backwards now. They're not really designed for that. They're not designed for it. It's a much better experience facing forwards because it's just uncomfortable. You can see the views as well, yeah, which is great. Can. I was just sort of like this the whole way around. And really, these coasters are designed for the forces facing yeah. forwards. You know, like the air type, um, yeah, the drops on there. I just enjoyed everything about it forwards a lot better than backwards. However, it's a unique experience. I definitely recommend if you want a crazy out of control ride experience, then give it a go backwards Leviathan. I said the same at Park Asterix, uh, but I enjoy a wooden coaster a lot better facing forwards. However, an absolutely epic backseat experience that we loved was DC Rivals down at Warner Brothers Movie oh, World. I love that so much. It was epic, that wasn't so it? Good. Overall, though, I tell you what, it's a great addition to this park. I mean, it's our first time here, but I can't imagine coming here without it now. It fits in lovely here as a big signature ride. And yeah, everybody's taking photos with the theming. The queue's amazing. Um, I love the big statues out the front with the sign. And yeah, what a great overall package. But there we go, that's Leviathan. And yeah, I tell you what, considering it's only been operating for a bit this morning, it's riding fast, it really is. But yeah, here we are then in Atlantis. You've got so much more than just Leviathan itself. You've also got Trident over here. And yeah, we filmed a nice POV this morning, just prior to the park opening uh, here on Trident. So I'm going to put that in for you all now and uh, capturing the atmosphere here at SeaWorld and how nice this park really is. I mean, it's lovely. Look at the water just here. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, it's lovely. You also see all the dolphins on here as well. And you get some absolutely epic views looking over at Leviathan. So yeah, let's take you all on. Trident just here, another brand new ride at SeaWorld Australia. Here we go then on Trident, here in the new Atlantis themed area at SeaWorld on the Gold Coast in Australia. And look at the view already as we lift up just here. And now what's interesting about this is you've actually got three seats going across. See so yeah, how that one in the middle is designed for kids? So yeah, that's quite cool how well, that's done. Look at this view just here. I haven't even started spinning yet and the view is absolutely awesome. Really nice. There's Charlotte just over there. Hey, we're going to get great views across the park, the Gold Coast, and also across to Leviathan as well. Beautiful. Love the location of this park. Wow, look at that view. Oh, that is amazing. Looking over towards the park's wooden roller coaster. And up we go. Oh, dolphins down there. This is really good. I tell you what, it's a hot day today. <laughs> the sun's beaming down on us here in the Gold Coast. Our final day in the Gold Coast before we move on to our next destination. Wow, I tell you what, Leviathan looks amazing from up here. What a great overall package. All that theming and oh, brilliant. Yeah, this fits in really nice here as well. It doesn't spin around too fast either, so you get to really appreciate the awesome view. It feels like you're higher than you are because you're over the water. Yeah. You okay there, Charlotte? Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Aww. Looking at how the animals are up here. And the other rides as well. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, you can see why they wanted to open this and the wooden roller coaster, Leviathan at the same time, with them both being right next to each other here. And yeah, some amazing views. So we lowered down a little bit then, and now we're going up. There's the jet ski coaster. Oh, <laughs> looking forward to that. You've also got Storm Coaster, which is a map ride, water coaster just over there as well. So we're looking forward to giving that a go. Oh, that breeze is so nice. It is, that breeze, yeah, it's amazing, especially when it's so hot like it is. But yeah, we're literally riding this a couple of months after opening, less than that. It's always nice going to see something brand new. It was the perfect timing for this trip for us to come out here to Australia and see this brand new themed area. The Atlantis Precincts. I've noticed that in Australia, they tend to call them precincts instead of themed areas. That's a term that back home you kind of say maybe shopping precincts. Over here, they kind of say, yeah, precincts is a themed area, which is a little bit different. I love them differences when you go around the world. And there you go. That's Trident. Some beautiful views up there. Just to spin around too fast. Yeah, it's more, that was really good. You're more just scenic, isn't it? Just to enjoy the nice views looking over the park. 
Fantastic. I tell you what, the theming here, sensational. Look at the waterfalls down there. Did a really good job of that. On right footage there from Trident. How did you find that, Charlotte? That was really good, and because it wasn't spinning very fast, you could take in the views, which was nice. Yeah, that's a good thing. Some of those are big thrill rides, really, with how fast they spin. Not this one, and it's great because it means you get great views, not just of Leviathan, but also across the park and the surrounding area here in the beautiful Gold Coast. We're loving our time here in Australia. Oh, it's so good. We love it. And when you go on a ride just like that, it really makes you reflect on things and how the trip is so far. We're loving it, and we're bringing all this content to you, and you're all loving it too. It's amazing, like yeah, we're having such so a great good. time here. Um, yeah, what a great ride! You can see it there behind us. It's not ridiculously tall, but because of the location, built on a bit of a hill here as well, um, you get some lovely views around the and park. And a nice breeze. Oh, you do, yeah. I really appreciated that. Yeah. Definitely the hottest day of the trip it's today. So hot. Oh, that humidity. Yeah. Up next then, it's time to run the Jet Rescue. We've really been looking forward to this because these Intamin family launch coasters are fantastic. And yet, yeah, after we fell in love with Jubilin over at Jersey Summerland last year, we've been really excited to get on this because you actually sit on board. A jet ski. <laughs> A jet ski roller coaster. And I tell you what, look at this. Nicely painted up here as well. Lovely colour scheme with the cream and blue. And yeah, we're looking forward to giving this a go. Oh my God, look at this. Look at the trains, absolutely awesome. It's a jet ski, Charlotte. I'm so excited. Oh, here we go, we'll put in some off ride shots. Let's go and ride. Owned here in 2008. Look at this one. We just experienced Jet Rescue and that was absolutely brilliant, wasn't it? Honestly, that was so good. The layout was just fantastic and you were so low to the ground. Yeah, maximum, maybe 15 foot off the ground, loads of S-Bends, it was double launch as well. So it started off with the first one, straight into a right corner. Uh, and then there was loads of S-Bends and drops, real terrain hugging coaster, uh, very low to the ground. It was fantastic. It was so good. The second launch was so fast and then it was like proper snappy. I absolutely loved it. Yeah, great family coaster. And it was also inside a tunnel that second <laughs> launch as well. And yeah, the jet skis were really comfortable, which was nice. Skis. Much better than that motor one that we went oh, on. Uh, yeah, check out our vlog from Dreamworld if you haven't already. Yeah, we went on this motorbike coaster. It was, it was very good. uncomfortable. Yeah, the trains on this are amazing. It's a jet ski. Just think that's probably the only jet ski you ever yeah, gonna ride. Yeah, the only one I ever go on. We're Charlotte not liking uh, the water <laughs> and the sea that much. But uh, no, that was a really good coaster. Perfect family layout as well. And some nice theming around too. Oh, it was brilliant that one. I still can't get over how good of a family coaster it is. And it just goes to show you, you don't need much height to make such a great ride. Like, that was brilliant, that was. But yeah, 43 miles an hour as well, top speed. And yeah, up next, we're going on this Mack Rides water coaster. It's called Storm Coaster, and it opened here in 2008. So yeah, looking forward to giving this a go. I do like a good water coaster. Look at the theme in for the queue line here of a storm coaster. The station's hidden by these big shipping containers just here. Yeah, like the storm has taken over. Looks like it's just one drop on this one. Yeah, looking forward to it. So we'll put in some shots. Coaster. And I tell you what, this big show scene is amazing. This is really good in here, I like it. Yeah, so it's just got the one drop and you go straight out of the station up into the lift hill, you drop down uh, into the water. And I tell you what, really enjoyed that. 
And I'll tell you what, this scene here as well took me by surprise. I really wasn't expecting this. Fantastic. Yeah, normally the water splash on these is outside, isn't it? It's inside. Yeah, it's all covered up here. Look at all the themings. Yeah, the building's all covered up by the shipping containers. Um, it's like you want to rescue boats. And yeah, there's loads going on in here. And as you saw, big splash. And also as well, uh, some really good effects in here. But hang on a minute, do you just say you enjoyed a water ride? Yeah, because I'm absolutely sweating. It is so hot here today That's at SeaWorld. <laughs> well, yeah, what a great start to the day. Really enjoying it so far. Look at this. I've got to say, I'm really impressed with what we're seeing here so far at SeaWorld. It's a very nice park. And yeah, there's some decorations out for Carnival, which is their event that starts in a couple of weeks' time. And yeah, it looks really good. They do like a fountain show and all lights. It looks fantastic. Um, but yeah, we're just missing out on that event, but you never know. Maybe in the future we'll come and see it. And yeah, we're going to go and get some food just down here now. Massive food court. As you can see, loads of different places for food here. Village Bean Cafe, burgers just over there. And yeah, it's all undercover here as well. The Eagle Eye viewers will have also spotted that there's a monorail that runs round. Unfortunately, it's not in operation at the moment. It's been closed for quite some time. Uh, it's one of the older attractions here. However, hopefully they'll do a refurbishment of it and get it open. I'd like to think so, so you get some really nice views. I love a good monorail ride. So yeah, hopefully they'll get that in action at some point in the future. Yeah, look at this food area. So much choice around here. Yeah, really good to see. Oh, what you found there then, Charlotte? I've got like a minced beef pie. There you go. Quite, quite nice. nice there. Yeah. yeah, food's pretty reasonably priced as well. Which is good. Here we go. Got a nice meal. It's about ten pounds. Hot dog, classic. And look at this just here as well. Charlotte's just been to get us these delicious muffins. Oh my god, they look so good. They're really heavy, aren't they? Can't wait to look into that. Oh, that muffin was absolutely delicious, and the hot dog was pretty nice too. Oh, look at this area here. All the buildings, they've got loads of shops and everything around here. Yeah, really nice, and it's perfect how it's undercover, especially on these hot days. And yeah, it's good how the monorail goes through. Hopefully, next time we come here, whenever that will be, many years from now, I'd imagine, or at this side of the world again, we'll get on that monorail. Now, of course, as you mentioned earlier on, you've got all the rides that are on the other side and then the animal experiences down here as well. So we're off to see the sharks down we here are now. indeed. Really nice area across here. And there's a look at the sharks and also some big rays down there They're as well. Massive. Loads of them down there at the bottom. They show up quite well here on the camera, actually. Yeah, you can actually do a glass bottom boat tour for $15. Yeah, that's not bad at all. If you want to do that experience when you come here? But yeah, massive area. Shark Bay just here and really well themed. That's a great view. Obviously, you can see the rides on the other side oh, of the park there. That. Look at Storm Coaster as well. And of course, the monorail track that comes past here as well. It's a really pretty park, this though, isn't it? It's very well landscaped. I love this big castle down here as well. The theming at these parks, so much better than what I was expecting. Really nice. And yeah, it's actually a log flume up there. It's not open at the moment, but yeah, it looks pretty well themed all around the top there. Not too sure what the plans are for that in the future. Yeah, there's some great landscaping around here. Over here at the lovely penguins, just here now. There they are, just chilling out in the shade. I don't blame them, to be honest. It's a hot one today. Now, so far this trip, we've been making quite a few references to the Inbetweeners movie. We have indeed. And yeah, a certain scene was filmed here, wasn't yeah, it? So they did a scene here with Neil, and he was with the dolphins. Yeah, in the pool just here. Uh, and yeah, that was filmed just over here. So obviously they made out in the movie that it was all part of Wet and Wild, but yeah, parts that were also filmed here at SeaWorld. So yeah, another little movie reference for you all. And yeah, it's the area with the dolphins. And yeah, it was all filmed on that beach area. I've got to say the theming looks great for this carnival event. Really good. There we go, look at that. Triton just over there. And yeah, we've got the Africa section down here as well. There's also a lot of lighting around for the carnival event. Yeah, it looks fantastic. Really good, nice to see. Village Roadshow doing the events and obviously at Movie World they do Halloween there as well. So we've got an outdoor splash park there, the Reef Castaway Bay. And over here, perfect for this weather, splash battle just over here. A nice mac ride. There we go, look at that. And this is really well themed. i tell you what, how epic does that play area look at the back there as well? All the rope bridges, slides. Yeah, you've also got a high ropes course down here as well. But yeah, there is a splash battle here. Perfect weather for it. So you know what? I'm going on. Are you coming on, Charlotte? You've got no chance. You've been saying you're hot. hot. 
This is extreme warm. Well, I'll definitely go on. I'll let you get a few shots of me in action. I love a good splash battle, especially in this weather. Now this play area up here looks so well themed. This looks fantastic. But you'll get some really good views from up here. The Sky Fortress. This looks really good, like all nets and night quite high up. Great little attraction. So here he is coming round. He's on this boat just there. I hope you get absolutely soaked, Sean. Got all guns around the outside to get people. As soon as he gets around here, I'm going to stand back so that he can't get me. This looks so well themed. The water is so clean. It's lovely to see. There he is. He's getting soaked and the water's so cold on his back. You are. Uh -huh. <laughs> no! No! Oh yes, the soaking him. That's what we like to see. These over here are doing a great job. Fantastic! Keep up the good work, everybody. Look, he's helpless. These two men are doing a great job at soaking Sean! <sighs> there they are, they're all getting on. Get him at the back! The issue is, when he gets off, I'm then in a bad position because he's going to be soaked. There he is, always oh, looking a bit wet over there. We'll see him when he gets off. This is not a good sign. He's approaching me, he's wet. <laughs> battle boats. I tell you what, I was on the wrong side there because I couldn't retaliate. Like, oh I no! Of the boats on the system. Normally, if you're on the inner side, you know you can squirt the other boats. But I just didn't really get any action out of that. You just got I soaked. Just got soaked. But you know what? It's lovely and hot. Give me a cuddle, shot. No, get yeah. back. <laughs> no, it's nice that was. Really enjoyed it. Um, it's a good bit of theming round as well. And yeah, some good laughs and interaction with the other people on the boat. And that's the good fun thing about these splash battles. And down here at this end of the park, you've also got Affinity, which is a dolphin presentation. We're going to be making our way now back down towards the main entrance to watch the stunt show shortly, which we're really looking forward to. And yeah, here's a look at the monorail train just in the station there. Yeah, it seems like it's got a few different stations around the park. There's one down by the hotel that they've got here as well, the SeaWorld Resort. Yeah, the monorail, very similar to that of Alton Towers back in the UK. So yeah, hopefully they'll get that back up again at some point in the future, because it looks like a great ride. Just around here in Seal Harbour now, and there's a lovely seal just down there. Oi, 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 oi. What was that? That's my seal impression. That was not very good. Yeah, that's what they do, don't they? Yeah, they don't go quite like that, Charlotte. Well, you do an impression then. Oh, 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 oh. See, yeah. No better than mine. Oh, seals. Whoa, look at these pelicans just over here. Wow, the wingspan on those. What do you think to them? Oh, they are so nice. Fantastic. But now we're off to watch the stunt show, which is Thunder Lake. Yeah, it's how they're on the main lake just here. Yeah, oh, I tell you what, look at that amazing view of Leviathan. I can't imagine this part without it, to be honest. It looks absolutely gorgeous just over there. Right here by the water. But yeah, coming up over the next few minutes, highlights from the Thunder Lake stunt show. Let's go. Slip back and entrance. Pace slip, bring a 
Some Thunder Lake Stunt Show. Did you enjoy that, my little burnt sausage? Oh no, I'm so burnt. <laughs> Enjoyed that. I thought that was really good. Some of the stunts on the water were so good. Yeah, I've never seen some quite like that before. Oh, brilliant. That's the thing, you couldn't do that back home on our lake. No, couldn't do that with the temperature, especially this time of year. Peak summer here in Australia, and it's amazing to see what a destination to come to at this oh, time of year. So good. Oh, amazing. Just to see the parks thriving and busy with a great atmosphere. But yeah, the show was fantastic. Yeah, wasn't we had it? like Barracuda, which was one of the baddies. <laughs> yeah, you had like the good side, the bad side, and then in the end they were all friends and then did I a bit really of dancing. Enjoyed it. Yeah, it was a fantastic show, about 20 minutes, and it was action packed as well which was good not too much talking in between straight on with the action and utilizing the big lake there just behind us we're now going to make our way into the penguin encounters just here you're going to see the lovely penguins <laughs> let's look at the penguins oh i like how that one stretched his neck out then i'll just come next door now to see the sea jellies jellyfish Looks like there's loads of them, but there's a mirror just there. These are nice. All the lighting on there. Look at the size of these beasts juice here. Oh, imagine being in the water with that. Jellyfish. Get a big sting from that. Look at these jellyfish just here. <laughs> No, oh, I love seeing the jellyfish there. So vibrant with all the lights as well. And then we're making our way now back into Atlantis. Gonna have a few re rides over on Leviathan. Make the most of that, get some more rides in. And then, of course, we've got one more coaster to ride a little junior coaster located in the Nickelodeon themed area of the park. There's also a few kids' rides there as well, so we'll show you those. Yeah, unfortunately, Vortex isn't in operation today. Um, yeah, I would like to have got this. It's a Huss Top Spin. Yeah, I would love to give this a go. But yeah, it's not in action, unfortunately, today. The good thing is, we've got a Leviathan, and that's the main thing. Amazing. Yeah, and it's a really nice park. I'm enjoying it here. Yeah, the show is fantastic. It's really open, some nice space, all the landscaping, the theming. And yeah, I'd imagine they're going to keep putting in rides here now as well which of course is really good to see. But yeah, I would have definitely gone on Vortex. Looks really good. Nice and fresh. Good to see another Huss attraction coming in. Well, yeah, there's a look at it. Nice top spin. We yeah, have another go on Leviathan and we're going to put in some off-ride shots now showing the ride in action for you. show you this part of the queue line here as well beautifully themed all around here and yeah some nice interaction with the coaster trident's over there and yeah i love how this is all undercover here as well it's just what you need especially in this heat Oh, 
That was crazy. We've just had another ride on Leviathan, this time on the back row facing forward, if that makes sense, not on the very back facing backwards. Um, but yeah, I tell you what, the airtime on there, absolutely crazy. And my bum was out the seat all the way around. Oh, it's that. a little bit too much for oh, me. It was so <laughs> intense that was that time. I enjoyed it even more there than I did on the front row. Um, so yeah, it was at the back of the train, but not facing backwards. I didn't enjoy that. Um, yeah. But yeah, that was really good it there. Flying, oh, man. absolutely flying. It's a fantastic layout, it really is. So many double downs and uh, lots of near misses with the structure as well. It's a great ride, it really is. It'll be interesting to see how it holds up in this heat oh, no. in a few years' time. I do worry a little bit about that. However, as it's riding at the moment, um, that was phenomenal. It's a very intense experience. You come into the brake run and it's like, whoo! It just keeps its right. speed the whole way around. <laughs> it does, like, it's a fantastic layout. Right then, so we've not covered this area of the park yet. You've actually got a Nickelodeon themed area. Patrick's Jellyfish just over here. So really well themed rides around here. That's been the key to this trip. Everything we've done really has like over delivered. Like we've really enjoyed it. <laughs> Seeing all the theming, that's been the big thing for me. I think the theming and landscaping of the park has been so much better than what I was expecting. The Gold Coast is a fantastic place for theme parks. It really is. A little rocking tug just over there as well. Bikini Bottom. And yeah, there's also another coaster around here. This is our fourth oh, coaster. So cute. SpongeBob's Boating School Blast just over here. So we're going to have a ride on that. Well themed area. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> so we give this a go. Nice little junior coaster. Little Zamperla just over here. Here's the boats. Three. Did you enjoy that, Charlotte? Oh, that was quite a fun little ride, to be honest. Two laps special as well, and it means we got all four coasters here Yippee! at this park. Right then, so we're just going to do a few re-rides now, get some more footage of the park. We get on the uh, jet skis oh, again. I'm so excited! <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, we'll see you a little bit later, and we'll get some more footage from around the park. Off-ride footage there from around SeaWorld here on the Gold Coast in Australia. And we've also just been on the front row again of Leviathan. How is that one I for you? I much prefer it near the front. It's a fantastic coaster. Yeah, it is really good yeah, fun. Oh, I love it on the front row, yeah, like with the views, it, yeah. the airtime. Yeah, really good. And yeah, what's fantastic is as well, you've got this little viewing area. Yeah, no, it's the Garden of Cyphers just here, like in the New Atlantis. You've got a little maze that you can walk around. Bit of fun for the kids this is as well, isn't it really? And for me. <laughs> work your way around and get to the middle. Um, but yeah, some awesome views as well, looking at Leviathan. What a brilliant investment for this park. Like I say, I can't imagine uh, this not being here, to be honest. I just really hope that it holds up for him in the temperatures oh, really over here. So, yeah, because it's so hot. Yeah, and it's a beautifully themed ride as well. It is. I'm just going to finish the <laughs> Yeah, the queue line's amazing. Amazing. The trains look great, the audio package, what an overall experience for a wooden coaster. Something that you don't normally see with woodies, you know, so it's nice to have a full experience coaster like this. Absolutely fantastic.
to the end of our day here at SeaWorld on the Gold Coast in Australia. And we've had a brilliant day at this park. It's been a fantastic but very hot day. It, yeah, it's been the hottest day of the trip. But I tell you what, this park has once again exceeded expectations. That seems to be the theme of this trip, doesn't exactly, it, really? It's always. We're enjoying it a lot more than we didn't know that we thought we would. Yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. Of course, Leviathan, a fantastic ride for really this park. Good. I'd say that was better than I was expecting. Not too keen on the backward seats, um, but forwards, it's a brilliant ride. The layout of that coaster. I love how it twists and intertwines with a lot of the structure as well. The theming and it's a full package ride. Obviously we spoke a lot about Leviathan but this park has got so much more going for it including one of Charlotte's favourites. The jet skis! Yeah that's my second favourite ride here. I mean I think it's your favourite. It's my favourite. I loved it so much. I can see why it's a unique ride. It might be a little bit on the short side but it's still a fantastic coaster. Really good family launch coaster and uh, along with that I thought the Mac ride yeah, that, uh, was, really that, that was brilliant with the splash on there. I really enjoyed that and the theming. Uh, I love a good water coaster. It was great having the indoor section. Yeah you can always rely on a good Mac ride. Uh, along with that the junior area is quite nicely themed. I thought the stunt show was good that we yeah, saw earlier really on. Yeah brilliant. And of course you've got the different animal experiences here as well. Some really nice areas especially the dog which here. is really good. Uh, really spacious and yeah it's been a lovely day really enjoyed it so I just want to say once again thanks to SeaWorld for having us so and of much. course Village Roadshow theme parks they've been amazing they've really looked so after nice. us coming to the other side of the world like this um, they've been absolutely amazing and um, yeah providing us with the fast track that we wouldn't normally do at the parks but because we've come to the other side we want, we want to make sure, sure we get everything, everything in exactly. uh, share as much as we can with you guys and we're actually the first external group to film on Leviathan which as well which is really lucky uh, which is great and also filming on DC Rivals down at their other park, uh, Warner Brothers Movie World, uh, of course visiting Wet n Wild. They're a really good company. I look forward Fantastic. to seeing what they do in the future. Yeah. Um, they really looked after us. So thanks so much to Village Rojo and the team. Thank we really so appreciate much. it. In terms of what's coming up next then, we're going to start to make our way down towards Sydney. Our time in the Gold Coast is coming to an end. Oh, it's so sad. I love oh, it around here. It is beautiful. It really is. There's so many parks and attractions, but we've got so much more coming up. So we're going to be making our way down towards Luna Park, Sydney. On the way, we're going to be stopping at a place now is the Big Banana. Oh, very nice. <laughs> yeah, looking forward to seeing that. Are you looking forward to seeing the Big Banana? I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be coming up. So stay tuned for that vlog here on Theme Park Worldwide. And don't forget to join us over on the Sandbrook Adventures. I know you've all been loving our content there because uh, we've been to the Australia Zoo. We've we had a it. tour around the beach here in the Gold Coast. We're about to go up the big tower as well uh, before we drive down. And of course, we're going to be covering that drive down to Sydney over on that channel too. So join us over on the Sandbrook Adventures. But here from SeaWorld on the Gold Coast, that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, Get out, out there and, and keep, keep on, on riding. riding. We'll see you all in the next vlog.